Today I'm going to show you how to create digital greeting cards perfect for the holidays, birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, and Mother's Day. So if you have forgotten, procrastinated, or just want to create a cool greeting card for mom, well stick around and I'll show you how. What's going on everybody, Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I show you tips and tools on how you can share your story. As I mentioned at the start, I'm going to share with you how to create these really neat digital greeting cards using an app called Adobe Spark Post. You can do this on the web browser on an iPhone or on an Android. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the computer and let's get started with creating this digital greeting card. What you want to do is head on over to spark.adobe.com and once you log in, you want to create a project. I'm going to go ahead and choose a custom size graphic. For this one, pretty much you can choose any size you want. I'm going to go with the print option and choose card just in case I want to print this out. And now with a clean slate here, I'm going to click on the plus sign and add some text. And since this is going to be for Mother's Day, I'm going to add Happy Mother's Day to this card. I'm going to be given an option here with text. I'm going to resize that, center it up, and I'm not going to choose this shape. I'm actually going to create this without a shape here. And let's go ahead and bring that text. Let's go ahead and bring that line spacing down and maybe increase the size just a bit here. And that looks perfect. Now I'm going to go with a more whimsical looking font. So let's try to find one. So here we're going to go look for, let's say, let's choose this one right here. Perfect. I think this one looks perfectly whimsical like I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of that text to black. And now what I'm going to do is add a circle around the word Happy Mother's Day. And I'm going to click on Add Icon and type in circle and let's see what we get I'm going to try to find one that's kind of got a thin line so maybe something like this one down here perfect so now i'm going to center that around the word and probably change that orange to something more um, like this one right here purple perfect now what i'm going to do is around the circle on this card i'm going to add some other icons and being that I want to show my love for my mom here or for that special mom in my life I'm going to choose art and see what happens perfect now what you have here is a plethora of hearts to choose from different sizes so really uh, you can spend a ton of time here choosing the different hearts I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this one right here perfect resize that a bit and maybe kind of angle it a little bit rotate it and what i'm going to do here is hit the duplicate sign and make it a little bit smaller resize it differently i'll hit duplicate again basically just repeat that process change up the size a bit maybe the uh the rotation and now what i'm going to do is choose a different color here so Thinking of Mother's Day, maybe that one will look nice, or let's go with that. And let's maybe choose kind of in the blues. Uh, maybe this one here. Let's go with that one. I think that one fits. And then what I'll do now is group all those together temporarily. So select all three of those. And then click on duplicate. And basically what it does, it allows me to create all three at once. And now I can go ahead and kind of move these around and again repeat the process i'll pick those three again and hit duplicate and maybe do it a couple times so that way i have multiple shapes to choose from and again i can move these all over the card and kind of get the idea of what i'm doing here just kind of place them everywhere until you are satisfied with the look of your mother's day greeting card here so let's go ahead and do that Let's maybe add some more of this one here. So you kind of get the idea. I'll go through here, add multiple hearts to this page, kind of fill it up. Once I'm done or once I'm ready to 
share this, what I'll do is click on download. I'll choose PNG and go ahead and start the download. Right here is going to give you an option. You want to choose solid so that your uh, card has that white background and it's not kind of see through. Now that the card is downloaded, this is what it looks like. As you can see, very easy to create a digital greeting card using Adobe Spark Post. Now you can go ahead and try create that special card for that special mom in your life. I hope this video was helpful. You learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know by adding it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button. And I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and then click on the bell to be notified for future videos. Thanks again for watching. Always, always be good to one another. Peace. I'm out.